The reasons why you should choose to live a humble life. The issues with prideful living. We live in an ever-growing society. We're becoming very technologically advanced and dependent on things produced from it. Phones, computers, tablets, etc. are all great assets to the progression of humanity. But in our society, these things have its positive and negative impacts. So ultimately, should something exist that will cause massive problems to the world in the future? What if that thing that exists brings about great good as well though? For the average person, a humble living is, yet is not, an option. To understand why, we must recognize what the word humble truly means. Humble people are individuals that are modest and think of themselves less in a sense. I do not think that being humble means that you're perfectly prideless, but overall the saying pride comes before destruction will never be applied to a humble person. Technology is something man can be proud of and has pride in. It has advanced our life in such a way that everything is easier, faster, and more convenient. This in turn allows people to make money in new ways and create amazing things during relative peace. The bad or negative problems that come from technology is one of the main reasons why it's hard for most people to accept a truly humble way of life today. Air conditioning, cars, houses, etc. Everything you own or have while growing up has become things that are now second nature to you at this point in life. Most people see the world in their own light and are influenced by negative emotions. This causes them to become prideful in what they have and lose what it truly means to be humble. Let's try and understand it with an in-depth example. I will use the hip hop and trap genre of music for this. For those of you who do not know the origin of hip hop, a part of its history began with the creation of 808 and other unique sound effect beats. Trap on the same hand has its own long history as well, but that's something you can look up on the side. Pretty much the messages and lyrics produced from hip hop slash trap music is normally truth based on experience but is expressed in an interesting way. So before I continue, I must say this. In order for you to understand this example fully by the time I finish, I need you to be open-minded or you'll miss the point that I'm trying to make. So let's start from a bad standpoint. Trap and hip hop are both genres of music that have been taken over by negative and hateful feelings. It's a quick and very successful moneymaker, but it obviously has become a corrupt business that misleads the youth and the world as we know it. This is one of the biggest issues I see with this type of music, but other genres of music are not exempt from this fact as well. From another truthful standpoint, we must take into account why trap and hip hop is the way it is in the first place. This is something that I believe goes beyond what most people would think. It all rooted from the slavery of black people in America. When African Americans were finally free, how was it that they were able to incorporate their life into the American society when they are without a doubt surrounded by races and have no education presented to them? Let's not play dumb. This means opportunity is something that they did not have much of during that time. Through old school music and many other accomplishments, black people were starting to be more accepted in America. As time passed, the music evolved and the emotions, the hate, and the treatment of our people started to show in our songs. The truth of what we go through daily is being expressed in these lyrics and is shown to the entire world. Think about it. We as a people had nothing to grasp on to in America. So at the very least, music created by us is a big part of our cultural pride. However, the saying still goes. Pride comes before destruction. No one is exempt from that. 20 or even 30 years, black people during the age of hip hop and now trap 
have been wronged by life in many ways we do not even know. On top of that, when it comes to drugs in America, and one of the meanings of the word trap and trap music to begin with, look up who introduced that evil to black people in the first place. What you find may surprise you. The worst and saddest part of it all that also leads to the biggest problem is that because of the evil done to us, evil has been done back in return and we consider our life and past as a justification for our deeds. Being no better than those who treated us and honestly other people wrongly. It's a very complicated topic, hard for most to understand who lack wisdom and many will not comprehend the most important picture for this topic. I can explain it, but I know this in-depth example is getting a bit lengthy for some people. So here's the main point of what I'm trying to say. People do not want to feel lower or less of as a person. History has shown us what that would mean in a lot of cases, definitely dealing with black people. African American individuals have been wronged in life. Humbleness is something that was not shown to us. So when the shoe is on the other foot, meaning our success, humbleness is not shown back. Do you think the people who mistreated blacks and still do today are humble, modest, or think less of themselves? They justify their actions to do wrong and we justify ours from their wrongdoing. But that does not make it right. Pride comes before destruction. The pride of privilege in America and in the world comes from evil. Neither side will make it to heaven like that. Fighting fire with fire only makes a bigger blaze that burns everything down. The devil knows how to make people not understand properly what God wants us to do in life. He will make us feel justified in living privately in our life because of our own truths slash problems and those presented by others through their music, lifestyle, etc. When you live a humble life, you naturally and almost automatically become a better person. Name one bad humble person in your life, if there even is one. When you're humble, you will worry less, enjoy more, and appreciate everything in your life. The little you have will be enjoyed more than the most that a rich person can ever obtain. If you live on the same wavelength as those who do not see the truth, you too will fall prey to their false beliefs, wanting what they want and getting depressed as they do. Stop repeating history by choosing pride. It only proves a point that ultimately leads to nothing. Choose humbleness, choose the word of God, and share that way of life with the people who are willing to seek the truth.